Now, what I noticed about this, which was particularly interesting, is as I was doing the test, now keep in mind this is 48 volts, so I'm just doing structural integrity, and I'm checking to make sure everything's balanced. But what I noticed afterwards was with the two motors in the front, I was still pulling this drone forward. It moved about an inch forward, and I'll show you the difference in the pictures here in just a minute. But it's, it's interesting because this is running at half the RPMs that it's capable of with the third battery. And the all up weight at this point right now is about 80 pounds. So the one thing we have to consider is the fact that this thing's 80 pounds. It's got these cutouts that you can see where it attaches to the body. And it was pushing so much air towards the back and made itself light enough in the front to where it could scoot forward at half the RPMs, half the power, with only two of the motors. So that's something I just wanted you to pay attention to on this one. That's what's important here. Now we're going to watch the rest of this video, show you the rest of the spin-up, and then I will give you the picture comparison so you can see how much it moved. Or you can pay attention to the pillow in the back that's against the back motor. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Now, this doesn't seem like a, a really big deal, but it's actually, it actually is a really big deal because of the power we're pushing and we're only using two motors. So it was actually a really good data collection tool. And uh, it told me a lot about where we're headed with this. it doesn't seem like a lot but for an 80 pound drone running at half power with only two motors this is definitely some good data